what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Karen strikes again. Oh, man. Will it ever end? Nah, no way possible. It's been going on for far too long. Family, it is a way of life for some people. This time we got a white woman in New Jersey who called the police on her black neighbors for building a patio. Not in the middle of the street, not in her front yard, not at the community park, but in their own back yard. On Monday, Fareed Nassar Hayat, an attorney and law professor at the City University of New York, and his wife, Narenda, filmed the moment their neighbor, Susan Schultz, stormed their front yard and called the police on them. Fareed says Schultz walked onto his property three times within 30 minutes. What did she want? Did she want some sugar? Nah. Did she want to borrow a shovel? Nah. She wanted a permit. She wanted him to produce a permit. In the clip, the neighbors defended the Hayats. They were like, man, you tripping. The neighbors, man, I love the way the neighbors ganged up on her. Montclair police said that neither party has filed a formal complaint in the incident. On Tuesday, a small protest took place outside of Schultz's house with protesters yelling, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Family, this woman got on the phone with the police and said, he attacked me. She told the police that Fareed had pushed her. And there was one neighbor who was across the street, saw the whole thing and said, no, you're lying. His wife pushed him back. So you're lying. And she's like, oh my God, what do you mean? What do you mean? You didn't see, how do you know? Just because he says so. Now, she was like, just because you're lawyers, you're lawyers, of course you say that, you know exactly what to say. I like the way one of the neighbors walked up to her and said, shame on you. She said that in the climate that we're in now, you're especially not supporting members of our community. Salute, whatever your name is, it was the neighbor with the dog. All of the neighbors ganged up on her raggedy ass. I loved it, man, it was good to watch. It was a good video, good entertainment. They could have put it on Netflix. Now, I just want to know, fam, I want to say what is wrong with people, but I think I got a pretty good clue. It's that racism, it's that white privilege, man. Oh, man, it is toxic. It's that self-entitlement. It's that how dare you have enough money to move into the neighborhood that I live in. I'm struggling with my rent as it is. My mortgage payment, oh my God. She probably don't even pay a mortgage. She, she's probably renting in that fine community with those upstanding black folks. Why do they always look like that? The Karens. I mean, they almost always look like that. The ones that behave like that almost always look like that. Is there some form of connection there? Something there. Trump has given these Karens a bold, unapologetic voice. They're really feeling themselves. This is why it's important to arm yourself. You never can tell, man. 
because you know they'll 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 strap up and come knock on your door. Some of them, I mean, they really think that the world is theirs and any property that's owned by anybody outside of a white person is theirs and they can do whatever they want to. They can come into your yard and bother you and walk inside of your house, walk into your backyard, open your car door. Some of them think they can do whatever they want to do, especially to black people. You know why? Because they want to make America great again. And that great again means we won't treat you like a slave, boy. They want that slavery back bad, man. That's why y'all better be diligent in defending yourselves. Arm yourselves. They want that slavery back bad. She would definitely be one of those who would own slaves. Easy. She'd be first line. Like if they had some type of hotline to call, a website to get on, to go to, to sign up, to get in line, to get in a queue, to get your slave boy, she'd be one of the first ones. I'm telling you, fam, it's a lot of them out there, man, and they are bloody. They are violent. And they would not hesitate to take you and your family members out. You better protect yourself. You better get serious about getting yourself a firearm and training. You better get very serious because these Karens and Kens and other types, Bubba's, they're serious, fam. They are very serious. This Karen is definitely lacking the essential vitamins and minerals in her veins and brains. She's also lacking essential vitamins and minerals in her skin her hair, and her face. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? <laughs>